Hello. Today we're working on checking for switches. Checking for switches is in the conditional code chapter of Learn to Code 1. So you've already hopefully watched the introduction of the conditional code chapter and you've seen that conditional code is an idea that says we will only do some commands or a command inside conditional code if the condition is true. If the condition is not true, we will skip over that part of the code and uh, go down to whatever's after that. All right. So we're going to use in Swift, we're going to use uh, something called an if statement to uh, determine whether code is conditionally uh, executed or not. All right. So here is our first conditional code puzzle. And it says here the goal is to use an if statement to toggle only the closed switches. All right, um, so here we are. Um, we've got byte and it looks fairly simple puzzle here. We just have three switches straight ahead of byte and we need to toggle the ones that are off to be on. Okay, so let's go ahead and run the code here just to see what happens. Uh, and here when we run the code, byte doesn't do anything because we haven't told them to do anything. But notice that the switches, there are three switches, two of them are already on. So in this case, we would only have to toggle the middle one on to, uh, to achieve the goal in this puzzle. I'm going to tap run again to run it again. This time when I run again, the first switch is on, but the last two are off. So we would need to toggle the last two off. So it appears that every time we run this code, we get a different configuration of the switches, whether they're on or off. We're basically going to have to look, uh, look at every switch, and if it's off, we're going to have to turn it on. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's just write, start writing some code here, get, get us started. Uh, I notice that we're going to have to move forward to get up on top of the stairs there. So I'll say move forward. And we're going to move forward again to get on to the first switch. And then we're going to need to toggle that first switch on. After that, we're going to move forward again and then toggle the next switch. And we'll do that one more time. Um, I'm not going to bother typing that because I've already realized that we've got some repeating code in here. We've got a move forward, toggle switch. A move forward toggle switch and another move forward and toggle switch so this would be much cleaner code if we could put this in a loop and just repeat those two those two commands so let's go ahead and do that uh, we've got one move forward and then after this we're going to repeat three times the sequence of commands move forward toggle switch all right so for i in the sequence one two three we want to do the two commands which are move forward and toggle switch okay move forward and toggle switch okay sounds good let's go ahead and uh, run this this should move us forward up the stairs and then uh, go ahead and move on to each switch and toggle it so by the time we're done with this we'll hopefully be done with this puzzle okay uh, Byte's going to move forward one up to the top of the stairs. Then in the loop, he's going to move forward, toggle switch, move forward, toggle switch, move forward, toggle switch. So they should all be on now, right? Well, it appears not. It appears that um, the first one, the first switch was on when we started this puzzle, and now it's off. And, uh, yeah, you guessed it. That's because the behavior of toggle, in fact, the word toggle in computer science means switch the state of something. So if the state of the switch was on, it switched it to off. And if the state of the switch is off, toggle switch turns it on. Okay, so it changes it from off to on or on to off. So we're going to have to think about this a little bit more. We just can't go toggling every switch. In fact, what do we want to do here? We only want to toggle the switch if what? 
Yeah, if we're on a closed switch. Only toggle the switch if we're on a closed switch. Okay, so this toggle switch here, we're going to have to do something with it. And what we're going to have to do in it is this is what's use, use what we call an if statement or a conditional statement. And the condition that we're going to match is that if the switch is closed, then we're going to uh, toggle the switch. If it's not closed, we're not going to toggle the switch. Okay, so right in here, before toggle switch, we want to type if, okay, and if, notice that we have three choices here. We've got I, I'm not sure what that would be used for, uh, but we also have is on a closed switch or is on an open switch, okay? Let's uh, go ahead and select is on a closed switch because we decided that the only way we want to toggle the switch is if we're on a closed switch. So this statement says if we're on a closed switch, and the way the syntax for this works is that you need these uh, curly braces here uh, to say which commands you're going to do if you are on a closed switch. And let's do what we do in an if statement. We can drag this bottom uh, curly brace here to put the toggle switch inside the if statement. Okay, so there's our syntax. Inside the for loop, we're going to do two things. We're going to move forward. We're going to ask the question, if we're on a closed switch, we're going to toggle the switch. If we're not, we're going to come down here, go back up to the for loop, and simply move forward next time. Okay, the move forward is going to happen every time. The toggle switch is only going to happen if we're on a closed switch. Okay, let's try running this again, and I'm going to step through the code here this time so we can watch this, this toggle switch and see how often it's actually called here. So step through our code, and it looks like we're going to have, an, oh, all of the switches are off, so toggle switch should get called every time because we'll always be on a closed switch. We're on a closed switch, toggle switch. We're on a closed switch, so we'll toggle switch. There we go. All three of them are on. All right, that's great, but we should uh, run this again to see if we get a, uh, if we get the puzzle right with a different configuration of random, uh, randomly decided open and closed switches. Step through the code again. This time the first one is on and the last one is on. Nope, just the first one is on and the last two are off, so we should skip this one. Yes, and toggle switch did not get called. Here toggle switch will get called because we're on a closed switch. Move forward and we're on a closed switch again, so toggle switch will get called again. Okay, so I hope that uh, is clear to everybody. Uh, again, this if statement is there's a condition in here that'll either be true or false. Is on a closed switch, if it's true, we will do whatever is inside here. And there could be more than one command inside this if statement. In this case, there's only one. Uh, but however many we have inside these curly braces here, that's how many will happen if this is on closed switch is true. If it's false, not true, then we won't do any of these commands and we'll skip past it. Sounds good. Well, uh, next up we'll be using else if statement, so watch for that one uh, in the next video. See you next time.